What's up everybody, my name is Nate and welcome to the channel. I've got a bunch of different vanilla fragrances here that I personally love. Whenever I'm in the mood for a good vanilla fragrance, these are usually the ones that I turn to. Let's start this off with Pegasus. And this is a beautiful vanilla cloud. Beautiful fragrance, this is super smooth vanilla. It's sweet with heliotrope, it's got a bitter almond smell to it. It's got a nice sandalwood and clean musk base in here. It's really something truly good. It does lean a little unisex, so if you're looking for something super masculine, this might not be the fragrance for you, but it is super good vanilla with this almond character. Amazing nuances in here, a lot of freshness at the top, great lavender and some jasmine. That just kind of supports everything, but it's mainly vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and just beautifulness. Tom Ford is always a excellent option, and this is Noir Extreme, and this is the Eau de Parfum version, and this one has a this has a sexy pistachio note in there with this like creamy vanilla, but it has a lot of woods too. So it's it's very nice. It is really, really good. Eventually I wanna get the Parfum version, but this one is just, it's super hard to beat. It is just an excellent, sexy fragrance that gets the job done when you wanna smell super rich and luxurious. It dries down to this just super seductive, creamy vanilla, sweet, and a little bit of spicy aspect with it. It's super welcoming and it's such a cozy time fragrance. The special thing about this one is it has this pistachio ice cream kind of smell to it with that coffee note in here. And it's super luxurious. It smells like a smooth, creamy, warm, like a smooth, creamy, ice cream but then you have the traditional kind of cologne kind of vibe with it so it just it's very sexy one of my favorite vanilla fragrances of all time is mercedes-benz club black and you might be thinking to yourself mercedes-benz has fragrances of course they do and this one is one of the most you know luxurious ones of the bunch usually they have like fresh and clean kind of ones that are kind of cheap synthetic uh some of them are good i i, I know a, of a few that are really good but this one is hands down, it should not be in Mercedes-Benz, it should be in its own luxurious perfume house, seriously. If you're involved in the fragrance community at all, you know how important this fragrance is to the community. It's super vanilla, it's got this amber note in here, it's got this beautiful incense character giving it like a smoky vibe, and it's got fingerprints on it. I know some people like to refer to this as a candle kind of fragrance where it, you, it smells like you spray it, like a vanilla candle on yourself, which I get that a little bit, but I don't think it's overly candle done like that. It definitely has a little bit of a waxy feel to it, so just be warned of that, but it's mostly a creamy vanilla with a touch of a smoky nuance in there, wrapping around just a beautiful amber vanilla woody kind of smell to it. It's just remarkable, it really is. If you have not tried Mercedes-Benz Club Black yet, you gotta get on the train. It's around 45-ish dollars you can pick it up. I would even say, go all the way up to 50. If you can find it for under 40, absolutely pick it up. Definitely well worth it. One of my favorite niche perfumes is Annie by Nishane, and this is a heavy benzoin amber smell, and this stuff is some of the best vanilla that you can buy. So this one is a little niche, so if you're not you know, familiar with the DNA, I would highly suggest not blind buying this, but if you like that adrenaline rush from a blind buy, maybe get on it. If you like vanilla, amber, heavy cedar wood, it might be well worth it. It's warm spicy, it's vanilla, it's smooth. There's a lot of amber in here and a lot of woods. There's so much woods in it, and it's like that cedar wood kind of feel to it. I just love the smoothness in here. There's also some other things going on in here, so it's not just a rich vanilla fragrance that you would find with like Mercedes-Benz Club Black. That's kind of solely a vanilla fragrance, and it's centered around vanilla. This one has vanilla kind of like sprinkled in there, making it kind of like a nuance and not necessarily like a vanilla fragrance but there is vanilla in here there's definitely vanilla in here <laughs> let's talk about this sexy base one million elixir so the one million bottles are super tacky and that should not turn you off from this fragrance it did for me for a while the reason why i bought it was because i smelled it on so many people and i was like i have to get it now so i was putting this one off for long 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 times and 
and I complimented like three guys that had this smell on and they all said one million elixir and I just, I had to buy it at that point because I was like, man, you guys smell great. Now this one is definitely interesting. It's got a lot of vanilla in here, but it's also got a florally nuance to it. It's very sweet though. If you're not into sweet fragrances at all, uh, maybe just skip past this section, but this is a fruity sweet. It's a very clean rose too. So you get that florally nuance, but it also has this like soft, soapy kind of vibe to it. Rose can come across that way but a beautiful fruity apple in the top. It's a green apple in the top. And then you got some creamy rose that gives it this kind of soapy, clean, florally kind of vibe to it. Some woods, but it mainly relies on the vanilla, the tonka bean, and the amber. Little bit of a patchouli character in the base too. And like I said before, I've complimented so many people and that's the reason I bought the bottle. It's because I was like smelling it on everybody. I was like, guys, you smell great. And they just smell like you. Nothing weird about that. Boss the Scent Magnetic. This one came out recently this year and this one has a creamy vanilla kind of oatmeal kind of vibe to it. And you're probably thinking an oatmeal kind of vibe? Yeah, it's creamy vanilla mostly. It's not like, uh, you know, you're spraying oatmeal on yourself. That, that would be really weird. And as you can tell from the note breakdown, it's just vanilla and a little powdery. It does definitely come across a little powdery when you spray it on. I definitely get that, but it's not like a powder bomb, I would say. So only three notes listed. There's obviously a lot more going on in here, but Meninka fruit, brand, and black vanilla husk. So brand is that, um, you know, like oatmeal kind of vibe in there, and it's pretty creamy. It comes across like this creamy oatmeal, like malto meal kind of thing, hot cereal. And then the Meninka fruit comes across a little bitter, but a little tart, a little fruity. It is pretty good in the top. It's not like my favorite kind of fruity kind of vibe, but in this, I find it's toned down enough to where it's just, it's super pleasant. It's super sexy, what can I say? In my opinion, the best Eros. This is Eros Flame, and Eros Flame is one of the best from the line. Vanilla, it's got a lot of citrus in here, Mandarin Orange, Tonka Bean Accord in here. It's it's loud too. And I am not alone when I say that this is one of the best. Creamy, loud, it's potent. Mandarin orange note in here is so magnificent. This flame should be a staple in any man's fragrance wardrobe because it's so versatile, but it's yet yeah, it's so sexy and powerful that you can just use it wherever you go and you smell absolutely incredible. Mandarin orange, some pepper at the top, lemon, some rosemary, some rose. Everything works so well in Eros Flame. You got the creaminess in the base with the sandalwood and the vanilla and the tonka bean and definitely a lot of rosemary and pepper in the top here too. Mainly it's kind of overshadowed behind the vanilla and the green mandarin. This was not my favorite fragrance when I first smelled it or when I first got it, but I have definitely grown to it. This is Invictus Victory. So I did sell my Elixir version. I bought the Elixir version of this um, back last year sometime, and I did sell it because I was not a fan of how sickingly sweet it was. This one though has this like smooth, creamy vanilla kind of thing going on with this amber note. There's also this pink pepper nuance in here that's just makes it a really spicy, sweet, sexy fragrance that has this richness to it. It's very creamy too. It's got this tonka bean accord in the base and it's, man, it has this creaminess behind it. But once again, this one does lean a little sweet. Just like Eros Flame, this one has a lot of sweetness to it. And I think this whole line too, I mean, the, the Victory line has a lot of sweetness to it. And, um, and when this one first came out, this one was a total left field in the Invictus kind of DNA. Invictus is known to be this like fresh and clean, uh, you know, bubblegum sweet kind of fragrance. And when this one came out, it was this vanilla amber. It was kind of really bizarre. Pink pepper, lemon, olibanum, lavender, vanilla, tonka bean, and amber. So uh, man, the note breakdown is just fantastic. It almost reminds me of Mercedes-Benz Club Black. This just kind of, you know, beautiful kind of, just a beautiful note breakdown. What can I say? Really a great fragrance. It's really good. I love the amber in here. It's almost got this like, mm, creaminess behind it. It's really good. 
This next one really blew me away when I first unboxed it. I'm not a really big fan of this line, of the different fragrances within the line, but this one was Sublime by Latafa. And this one is a fruity sweet with a lot of vanilla. This one smells like a vanilla shampoo, like a fruity apple shampoo. It's super magnificent. It's got this like freshness behind it. It's also a rose based fragrance, but it's also it's got so much apple in here that it's almost just like the rose is just playing a like a soapy clean kind of role in here. But it definitely shows up in the fragrance. You definitely can smell a rose character with it, but it's mostly vanilla and that apple fruity sweetness. There's some like jasmine character that plays in with the rose to give it this kind of like fresh, kind of soapy, clean kind of vibe. There's also some other fruity nuances in here. I'm pretty sure that there's plum in here. And then there's also some other kind of fruity aspect in here too, but it's mainly a fruity sweetness coming from an apple mixing in with a lot of vanilla. Definitely give it a shot. This stuff is super good, super good. I'm gonna be raving about this stuff probably all year long. This one took me by surprise. This is from Paris Corner. This is their North Stag line, and this is Neff's 8, I think it is. I don't know how to speak Roman. I haven't thought about the Roman Empire in about three and a half days. This one is an excellent vanilla fragrance. It's got this like kind of richness behind it. It almost smells like there's an alcoholic or the boozy kind of accord in here, but it's mainly vanilla, benzoin, fresh lavender. It's just super nice. It's a clone of Grand Soir, so I'm just gonna pull up the notes for Grand Soir because they're the same. Amber, vanilla, benzoin, tonka bean, labdanum, and lavender. I would say that this one has a lot more amber going on than vanilla, but the vanilla is just playing a significant role in the dry down. Like in the dry down, it's just this creamy vanilla, amber kind of smell to it. It's super pleasant. And it's loud too. If you want a loud fragrance, this stuff is loud. I feel like the only downside with this one, I mean, it is well worth it, but the only downside with this one is the price. It's a little higher. It's like 60 bucks or so, but, you know, so you're getting kind of up into the designer area, but I think that it's really good and it's really worth it, but this is not like an everyday fragrance. This is like maybe a special occasion going out kind of fragrance. Um, definitely not like a school or work fragrance. One of the best looking bottles. Rocious man, intense. This stuff is super good in more ways than one. Kidding, of course. So this one is mainly vanilla and it's got this coffee nuance in here. And lavender is ever so present because it's built off of this linenol, linenol acetate, lavender mixture. So it's not like, it doesn't smell like a back rub kind of lavender or the lavender oil that you would get at you know the supermarket you you find that this is a clean lavender it's got a lot of dihydromersinol in here so it's it's like a fresh lively bright lavender it's not like a medicinal lavender but then you got a lot of citrus too and then also just some woody aspects to kind of give it this you know woody vibe and the note breakdown is pretty simple. It's lavender, citruses, cappuccino, cedar, and vanilla. It's a truly magnificent. This note breakdown right here is what I like to see in fragrance. Beautiful. I mean, how does that compare? This stuff is really good. If you guys have not tried this stuff yet, definitely give it a go. I mean, like, come on, this it's, it's a lava lamp or it's a and the last one that I wanted to talk about is Azaro, the most wanted parfum. This one has a little bit of a ginger note at the top. It's got some woods in the base and it's also got some beautiful vanilla. I think when the Azaro, the most wanted came out, the line, it was the most ridiculous thing on the planet Earth. Everyone made fun of the bottle. It was just like, it was stupid. It was a really stupid idea, but they've come out with some really excellent flankers. But here's the note breakdown. They only do the, they're doing the three note breakdown, ginger, woody notes, and bourbon vanilla. So it's, it's not like a, a comprehensive note breakdown, but it gets something done. 
I would say that this one has a lot of bubblegum sweetness to it too. So if you're not on that bandwagon of smelling like bubblegum, you might not want to try this one. But this one is at a lot of like the Sephora's and Ulta's. You could go and try it at least. It's at a lot of Macy's too. Zaro is a pretty well-known designer house. So definitely give it a shot. It's definitely a beautiful vanilla. And that ginger note in there is just divine. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite vanilla fragrance. I want to know from you guys. It will help me out. I want to always expand my vanilla horizon. So share with me in the comments down below. Looking forward to hearing from you.